Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. You know, on this program, we talk about attitude a lot. We talk about the way we think a lot. And today I was reading through some of the emails I get from all of you. And by the way, thank you for those. I get a lot of them every day, and I sort through them and answer as many of them as I can. Pardon my short notes back. However, I want to acknowledge you, and I appreciate it. These tune-ups, since we started, have grown a lot. A lot of people watching them actually around the world, thanks to the web. The web's an amazing thing. It's changed the level of broadcasting to people a lot different than what it used to be. And you can take advantage of these tune-ups just by watching them each day and passing them to your friends. Today, when we talk about attitude, I saw a cool little poster one time. In fact, I've got it up here in the office somewhere. It says, attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? And I always think about that. And I really reflect on myself first. Am I putting forth an attitude that people want to be around? I want you to ask yourself that question. Are you putting out an attitude and an energy and a vibe <laughs> that makes other people want to be around you. You see, that's a huge tool with each one of us in meeting our purpose in life. If we can attract other people to us or other people like being around us or enjoy us, and we actually have something positive with our intentions and living our life, we really can inspire and motivate other people just by our attitude. You don't have to have a magnanimous job or a huge career. You really don't have to do much of anything other than just be nice and have an attitude that allows other people to see someone who has and trusts the future. We hear so much grumbling right now and all across the country we see people picketing and little quick snappy signs out there contradicting our government, contradicting our leaders. You know what, if any one of you had those jobs, I bet you couldn't do any better. That job is bigger than all of us right now and the only thing that's going to clean a lot of this up is all of us pulling together with a good attitude pulling together with an attitude that we're going to inspire and motivate other people to rise above this and not be victims and really start finding and creating and developing new ways to produce and when I say produce I mean work create manufacture there's a lot of things right now that have never been invented yet believe it or not in fact most things we know have not been invented yet we only know the stuff that's already been invented and it's already outdated. And that's one of the problems we're having. So today it's about attitude and being creative and stepping outside of the box. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more this week. I've got privy to some interesting information. A friend of mine showed me a book that she's reading and it's fascinating. And I'm going to share some of this information with you. In fact, we might have fun with it a little bit later on in one of our Mind Talk programs when we go back online and live with those. So today, the biggest thing I want you to do this week, not only visualizing each day how you want it to turn out. Remember, we talked about that the first of last week. Today, I want you to really check your attitude at the door and ask yourself, is mine worth catching? Am I putting out energy and an attitude that would make other people want to be around me? If they do, and the answer is yes, that means you got the power right now to inspire and motivate someone else. That's a huge gift. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary thanking you for being involved in the tune-ups. Pass this on to someone if you think it can help. Until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.